Hi everyone, now I'm going to be tying this fly here. Now, basically uh, I got sent a photograph, uh, could I identify a fly, and uh, I, I don't know no idea what it was called, uh, but this is my take on it. Now the fly was in the photograph wet, so uh, what I could see, the wing looked like it was, uh, in this case, this is sword tail. And uh, it's, I've got a mix of hair and sword tail, which I do quite regular on some flies. But I'm going to give it a tie. As I say, it's just a fly, it was on the internet. Now I'm going to tie it on this hook here. This is a Patriot single from Partridge. It was a size 6, so looking at the size on the internet, I'm using that as a guide. So I'm using black thread. Now I'm starting just basically a good head length away from the eye and I'm going to tie in an oval gold tinsel on the way down. This is going to form the tag and the rib, so I'm just going to quickly run it down to the point of the hook. This style of fly has got a long, a long sort of bend on it. It's a point where you have to stop, uh, where you would either stop at the point, or what I like to do is come down about the tag length, and then come back up. To basically in line with the point of the hook again. So that's my tag there. Now to protect the, 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 the oval tinsel, and you could use a flat tinsel if you want, but I'm just going to use this. A touch of varnish. Just give it a second, just to soak into the thread. And then we want touching turns with the tinsel winding up through. To, we're basically in line with the point of the hook. We catch this in. Now that, what I'm going to do here, I want to try and keep the body reasonably flat, so there's, there's a wee bit of waste here, this, but it's up to you whether you do that, you don't have to, but this just balances it out, so I'm quickly running up to where I started practically, and then come back down, and that gives you a nice base for the body, as I say, you don't need to do that, you could basically catch in at the base, but that there, I'm going to have to tie it in anyway, so... Now, the tail of the fly is golden pheasant, this is the, the tippet. Now, as you can see I did tie one, so I'm using the, foot, the full feather. But the way I like to do it is just nick out, basically I've got to call a right, no, it's just a right and a left. Uh, so I can use that as the tail. Now the tail length uh, was just obviously by the back of the hook. So I'm just bringing these ends together, too much like I would do. Uh, a wing near enough, and then just tie them together on top. There you go. Now, what I'm going to do is again just quickly take the thread up, come back down, just to tie in the waist. Now, the body of the fly I'm using this is a green Highlander. You can see it's a seal's fur. I'm just going to lightly dub it on. Nice and tight, just. I mean, you can actually tighten onto the dubbing as you wind on. Just slide it up. And then, you start it off quite thin like at the back. But we can tighten to it, make sure it's nice and tight at this point. And then we just build up our body and work our way up, feeding the dubbing on. And there we are, just keep going. Need a wee drop more to finish it off. I say I don't know the name of the fly, so uh, it's just basically um, the wing sword tail. So let me see the distance here, just to check. Because basically, I'm going to tie the wing in and the hackle. I may just put a wee touch more there. It's quite a big eye in this, this hook, so you've really got to try and get a balance. Let's so drop more there, as I say, just draw back any fibre. I wax my thread, put a base of thread down, come back up. Now I'm going to rub the fly. It's up to you how wide the rib is. You're looking around about five turns. Catch in. Now this is where you can either put the wing on before, sorry, the hackle on, sorry, before the wing. Or after. Now I'm going to do it 
after. I'm going to put the hackle on last. Just as this style of fly, it's very it's like uh, the rusty rat sort of style, as I would call it. Just left out some of the seals for it just to give it a wee bit more life. Now, the wing I'm going to actually use, I've got dyed black squirrel. This is grey squirrel dyed black. Uh, so I'm going to bring out, I'm just going to see, a nice, nice piece. Here we go. I'm just going to bring it out enough to form the wing. Trim it away and remove the, the fluff at the base. You could stack this if you want it, uh, to give it a nicer shape. I may do that just because it's a bit curly at the end. <laughs> so I'm going to put tips first. Tap on your desk. Lined, tips should be lined up. Yeah, that's a wee bit better. It's just the, the ends are a wee bit curly there, so it was, it's a good way of just tidying things up. Now the length, it's, in this style, I mean, you could go the full length to the end of the tail, you could go short, but in this style of fly, because I mean, I'm going to put uh, some sword tail on, I may allow that to go towards the end of the tail, but as this is an under, an under wing and a wee bit of support, I'll tie it on slightly shorter, in this case, just to the back of the hook, so not to the end of the tail, it should be there, so it's just a wee bit shorter. Now I'm going to trim the fibre, or trim it, trim away the waist. Wax my thread. There's the cut ends, and I'm just going to cut the thread turn, or the thread into the cut ends. Tie it down. Now, squirrel doesn't. It's a, it's a solid hair. Just a wee touch of varnish or a wee bit of super glue, just at the ends here, and then secure that in. And that there will obviously give it a bit more. Uh, that'll stop it pulling out. Really, it's solid. There you go, that's just, just, as I say, it's just a wee bit of support. Now the wing is, uh, is the sword tail from the peacock. These are the side feathers off the tail. Now I've got a right and a left here. Now these are just, they're a bit curly as you can see. Uh, you can tear them off, or what I like to do is just cut the stem. Keeps them together. So basically, cut the stem. And the natural curve of that there, as you can see, I'll just tie it straight on. Towards the end of the wing, or towards the end of the tail, just tie it on. Just get the, that's the, your side, and I'll do mine. Put it a right and a left. Again, just enough here. Just trim the stem. I mean, if you mess up, if you trim the stem and you mess up, you can always go back. Get the natural curve of these fibres. See how they sit. You can always go back. As I say, once you do this, it's a nice shape. Trim away, tidy up. And then we're going to put the hackle on. See anything sitting. It's fine. Just a hen hackle, I've just got. Uh, dyed black hen. You tie it in by the tip. So I'm going to just catch it in, two or three turns. Now you can fold this back. I'm just going to wax my thread here. Come back up to where we caught the, the hackle in and then come back down. Two or three turns. There's the tip of the feather there. We can cut away or break it off. We can use our Others here to fold the fibre back. Now the length of the, the hackle is up to you, it could be quite short or it could be a nice blend. So, in nice straight turns here. I'm just looking as I wind it on. I, I like a, a reasonable length in the fibre. It's entirely up to you. Just have a wee quick look. You can always go an extra turn and see what it's going to look like. If you're happy, then you can. Basically, tie it off and then trim away. Or basically, what you can do, I'm sorry, a stem in this feather is really thin. 
and I, when I get a chance I will fold it back and just build the thread up to where I tied it off and then you can break away the hackle and then you can get straight in and quite finish I mean you're just basically working around the, the materials you have if the stem was too, too thick I would trim it as normal trim that away just draw these fibres back see the length, I'm just checking the length just towards the end of the tail where I plan to tie it to and there we are there's a couple of wee fibres there, I'm just going to get the tweezers there's always one fibre, you have no idea just using the tweezers to pluck it out the main reason for taking it out is just because uh, if you go to varnish it, it'll, it'll exaggerate that. So, clear varnish. You want a couple of coats, but obviously I'm going to get a chance to put one on at this point. And there we are. There will be a name for this fly somewhere, I would think. But it's a... Uh, as I say, it's just a sword tail winged fly, a salmon fly, sea trout fly, a big good sea trout fly, even a steelhead fly. Just going to clean the eye here a wee bit. And there we go. So anyway, there you go. I uh, hope that, hope you like it. Give it a go, I'm sure. Uh, the reason it was on the internet is because I had caught fish and did well. So again, if you enjoy the videos, please, please subscribe if you haven't. And thank you for watching.